Welcome to another episode of Moto Scotty and you join me on a night where we are going to talk about the new Triumph launch for the uh, 900 uh, Rally Pro GT. You've also got the 400, 400X Scrambler and the new Triumph 1200 Scrambler. Everyone's a massive Triumph fan, or at least they should be. Um, I've had Triumphs in the past, really good bikes, especially the triple engine. Um, it was a Triumph ST 1050 I had the pleasure of owning probably about 10 years ago actually but it took me all around Europe absolutely faultless and a fantastic bike to ride um, so I was lucky enough to be invited to the VIP launch night held by West Coast Triumph in Glasgow um, a fantastic dealership I bought a couple of bikes from them in the past um, and I've just got some footage of the night of the bikes getting launched um, the experts actually talking about them which was done very well by Simon and Shan up there um, I'll not pretend to know as much of the specs as what those guys do so probably better just to actually sit and watch and enjoy <laughs> Because there's hell of a lot on the bike. Let's just go through it. Okay. Let's just go through it. So, it's all good. So this bike has had a bit of a, a bit of an overhaul. It's not a full new model. It's a bit of a midlife update. But the things they've done to it are incredible. They've changed the dashboard on this bike to that of the Tiger 1200. So you've got your new style uh, dash on it. When you've got the centre dial and you can put to the left, the, the right hand side, you can put some information about your fuel economy and stuff like that. But it's a really quite cool, clean, crisp dashboard that's on the bike. The technology that the bike's got, this is a GT Pro model. So this bike comes with heated grips, it comes with heated seats, and you've also got electronic suspension on this bike at the back. Now it's not electronically adjustable, but you can use electronic screwdrivers in the dash to dial in your payload in the back. The bike's got a slip assist clutch on it and it's got a quick shift of bi-directional up and down and it kind of, depending on what mode you're in, it'll, it'll, it'll sort of optimise when you're using the quick shifter. The bike has got Brembo brakes on it, fantastic stopping power, I'm really out of this world, the brakes that are on this bike. The, 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 the feel, the modulation through the lever is incredible for you know, from, from, they're just amazing. I love the, oh, the brakes on it, great. I mean, it has to be, it has to be a rider-centric bike. The things that you could go and do and the places that you want to go with this bike, it, it has to have all of that kit. Yeah. But on top of that, you know, we've got things like the panniers. How far can you take it in terms of accessories and making it your own? So you, you can do lots and lots of these bikes. We want to put the same panniers on it. You can put, you know, top box on it as well. And, Various other bits in terms of tank bags and things that you can buy, crash bars that you can buy for it. There's loads of stuff. But all the good stuff that you need. All the good stuff you can put on the bike. Um, but it's that, that bike is real. They've made they've, they've actually made the seat more comfortable. They've put about another shoes twenty millimeters of, of, of padding in that seat. And if anybody has a seat on it and it's got a tiger in it at the minute, tell me what you think the difference is because it just feels really nice when you sit on it. Uh, it has, what it's done is it's raised the bike's height ever so slightly because it's got that pattern in the seat but it's a bit of a trade-off, have a seat on it, see what you think but it's mega, but the big thing about this bike is the engine update. That's what I was going to ask, because 
in time gone by, a lot of people, they kind of get stuck. Do I want the 900? Do I want the 1200? I know that I would probably fall into the category. And having done a couple of the bench time Sundays on the 900, I was always kind of like a little bit worried it might be on the small side, but the 12 would be too big. And actually, I was, I loved the 900 on a bench time Sunday. It had been like nearly 20 years since I'd been off-road and we went all the way up to the top of the greener tops and it was as sure-footed as anything. The power delivery was just perfect. It didn't um, gorge you into going too fast. It was um, soft enough and talky enough that when you needed the power to come on and off, you knew where it was without giving the clutch too much across that, that rough terrain. And it was incredibly confidence given. And that's what you want, really. If your roads are taking you somewhere where you don't quite know, maybe you haven't ridden or walked the route before, that's what you want. So what have they done to this new one? What have they done, right? Okay, what have they done, right? What have they done? First of all, they've not changed the engine's engine configuration. So the, the current Tiger 900 since 2020 has been, has been running on what they call a T-plane crankshaft. And if you don't know what a T-plane crankshaft is, the T-plane crankshaft is an offset firing motor. So it's less, it feels less smooth than the old 800 did when you first got on it. You think it's just a bit vibing. But what it's doing is it's, the pulsing of the firing order transfers into massive amounts of mechanical yeah. to the back tyre. So when you're, on the, when you're on the gas, you can feel through the slide parts to get that back tyre to It's a bit of a technology. But what they've done with the engine is they've upped the power of the engine. They've upped the power by 15%. So we're now getting just shy of 110 horsepower at this point. And that is enough for anybody. Right. This year, Sean, we've, we've had loads of customers come in with the Tiger 1200s, BMW GS 1250s, Africa 20s. And their biggest complaint when they went away on the trip to Europe this year has been, it's too heavy. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. It's too much. That just seems to be the, 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 the middle road bike where you've got enough power not too heavy and a manageable size. It's inter interesting that you should say that because that um, that change in the firing order would probably shore up further that lower rev range. Yeah. But for me, when I did take it out and we were making progress along the M8 and stuff, I did feel that like it might it might be. I wanted maybe just a little bit a more, more, just a little yeah. bit more, yeah. but not enough for me to want to go after a twelve. So hearing that that percentage increase is there. Yeah, 15 percent. And the only feature for that uh, increase is coming in towards the top end of the bike, so it's where you want to turn the power. Right. But it's, right. it's fantastic, and it's a, it's a really, 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 really good update for the bike. I've got to ask, you've just said everything that I needed to hear. When is it coming in on demo? This will be on the road for the first of March, but if somebody wants to come in and get a shot of it, come and see us, we put it out and drink for you and get a shot but don't tell anyone. Don't tell, don't tell anyone. We're live on the internet. <laughs> but what a, what a bike. It's a, it's a fantastic bike, this Tiger 900. It's been our best seller this year by a country mile. And it just seems to be the bike to have. It's a car finisher. So please feel free to have a seat on it. What colours? What colours can we get it in? That's important. Right, OK. So there's three different models, right? There's a GT, there's a GT Pro, and there's a Rally Pro. Now, we were supposed to get the Rally Pro today. Unfortunately, it's not turned up. They're, they're blaming it in the weather. That old chestnut, right, it's not here. But the GT comes in Snowdonia white and sapphire black. Superb looking. It comes in a graphite sapphire black. Not seen it yet. And camel red. And that's, that's good. Red. Proper red. The Rally Pro, uh, I don't know if anybody was at the, the bike show down in Birmingham. They had Ash Grey and uh, the orange bike there, and that looked amazing, that looked really nice. What I'm trying to try to do is I'm trying to freshen up the colours a little bit and just give people some choice that makes the bike stand out a bit more. And that sort of follows on from the theme from the Aragorn models that they brought out at the very end of the previous uh, interaction of the 900. So the Aragorn colour scheme is the same that kind of roll around through the range. Okay, cool. And who is our product specialist for this motorcycle? The one and only Ed Thomas. Come on, Ed. We're I want to give a shout out to Ed because how cool is it that the tiger comes in Snowdonia white and we've got a Welshie right here. All right. And I'm wearing a skirt because I'm not Scottish, so. No, that's not true. That's not true. Ed, what do you think of it? 
I think it's absolutely incredible. I just can't wait to ride it. Right. It's um, from the little tweaks they've done to make it more usable, to not try to get the new power delivery, um, just made it more urban and kind of easy to ride. So if you're one of these guys or girls that likes doing long haul rides, touring, the idea is that you can get off it, get back on it the next day, and you kind of don't feel like you rode it for eight hours the day before. It's that kind of idea of just, you know, ride the comfort, easy, economical. Some of the figures that are already coming back on these are towards like 70, you know, miles of the gallon on the run, a soft management system, feel of throttle, the way that you can use with your motor sounds. It just goes on and on. I'll be here for hours, so, uh, yeah, I'll be here till 10, don't worry, I'll be here. <laughs> All right, folks, so Ed is your specialist for the Tiger. Thank you, Ed. Quite your friendly bike. You've got some really cool technology in the bike, and, and you've got LED light, front, rear, indicators, the whole bit. The quality and paint finish on the bike, if you have a good look at it, is absolutely off the scale. The paint is so deep in what you would expect from a trial. You've the riding ergonomics on the speed model, in particular, are really comfortable, but it's still, you still get that unmistakable speed, still get, you get the, nine, the, the 900 and 1200 variants. It really is. Superbly well styled and superbly well put together. It's got a 40 brake horsepower engine in the bike, a single cylinder, and it pumps out nearly 40 brake per minute, 40 newton meters of torque. So it's it's magic, right? So when did you take it when you sat down? So I've done about I've done about 80 miles on it when I was out, and I did a bit of town, a bit of motorway, a bit of back roads on it. First and second gear are a little bit short on the bike, but third, fourth, and fifth gear are get plenty go and. If anybody knows me, I ride like a monkey on the monkey at the box. And this little bike, people were asking what's it like on the motorway. Well, I'm sitting at 75 miles an hour and I'd like the motorway and it's absolutely fine. And I hope you don't want to say, well built, aren't you? I just started up some things. Well built, so any, any, just went through. Fantastic bike, right? fantastic bike. Right? Now, I haven't ridden the scrambler on the motorway, we've only got a sort of these in, but the scrambler is sitting a little bit more proud on the bike. The suspension's are a little bit taller on the bike as well. It just, and the, the, the pegs seem a little bit lower from when I was sitting on the bike. But it's such a purposeful bike. We've got two of the starting ones last year on the as well now. It's a cracking, cracking thing. These are 4995 and these are 5395. And you get three colours in each. And we've got a couple of different colours we'll bring through later on. We've got some more we'll to let you guys have a mingle. But, I mean, I'm actually really excited for the Scrambler. I think when we've covered it before in the past, I mean, if you guys follow us on Facebook, you know I'm all about the style and the style the way things look. And I love the way that this is such a great package. I mean, we've got like a tuck and roll style seat, it's done in the, um, in the brack, the contrast stitch. I mean, the colours, which you can see under these lights here, we will be looking a few more on later. The depth of the metallic paint is so rich and it's really tricky to see where the price point has come from. This is so much of the bike. You know, LED lights, you've got the styling, you know, the exhaust and everything else. I mean, these are real patterns. Yeah, yeah, and, and when I was out, one of the ones one day was asking me, I'm not a trainer at all. And people were asking me, so it's really cool. But I, I, I'll, we've got demonstrators here now at the shop, and I urge anyone to come and take a shot at that and not love it. It's a great bike to me. The new Scrambler 1200, folks. Okay. That's the new Scrambler 1200X. Now this bike has been brought out and it's been brought out to serve a purpose and the purpose to serve is to make it more accessible to more people. So the main thing they've done with this bike is they've actually reduced the seat height quite substantially. There's only a 20 millimetre seat height difference now between the 900 and the 1200 and that was a kind of a missing link for us in the range. If somebody wanted a, a Scrambler 900 and they maybe wanted a bit more power, the, the, the sort of jump in, in size in terms of seat height was massive in comparison. So this bike really sort of fits a marketplace it's been crying out for um, with, a, with a Scrambler 1200X. I've also reduced the price on it quite substantially as well. And I've made a few tweaks on the bike just to give that bike a lot more access to a lot more people. Can you take us through a couple of those tweaks? We've got the, re the reduction in the seat height. Where does that come from? So they've reduced the suspension so they've reduced the suspension height on it and you can actually dial it in a wee bit more as well. We were looking at that when the bike first came in. You, when you when you adjust the preload on the bike, it seems to pull the height of it down again even further. Um, 
and they've, they've, they've changed the dash slightly on it. Mm -hmm. And they've made the dash very similar to that that we're getting through on the new Daytona and that, that we're currently running on the Trident model. So what they've done is they've looked to try and take a bit of the excess off it and make it a wee bit more accessible to more people. And the 900, uh, sorry, the 1200cc parallel twin engine in the bike is very similar to that of the engine before, but it's been mapped differently and it revs slightly high, just to give you a little bit more torque. Okay. Control. So there's a there's a bit of further travel in those higher in the higher gears. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. So yeah. excellent. And what colourways can we see them in? So I've got a little board here that tells you the front. Sorry, not on there. <laughs> It'll tell you the colours you can get it. So you've got it in black. You can get it in matte khaki green, which is always a favourite, and you can get it in matte sandstone with jet black. Now we had one arrive in the shop um, on Thursday for a customer who's collecting a bike tomorrow and it came in that uh, sandstorm colour and it looks incredible, it really looks nice. You've got a black Triumph logo across the tank here and the, 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 the black Triumph logo is actually a metallic black finish and it's all under the paint and lacquered over and it looks really, really trick. Maybe we can see if there's enough space, we'll, we may, might wheel it out for folks to see. We'll have a, we'll we have a chat with it. We'll have a chat. We'll have a chat with it to make sure we can give you that. Yeah, no worries, no worries at all. So. I think, I think we should turn this one off. Yeah, let's have a ready? Now, now, guys, this is a blinder, I've got to say. I'm in love with this bike. Well, everyone knows that's my favourite car. <laughs> Everybody does know. I am in love with this bike. This has got fantastic style notes. The paintwork is stunning. It's gorgeous. The graphics complement the lines. It's everything that it should be. This is the coolest bike in the world. Actually, the coolest bike in the world. Take it away. <laughs> Sorry about these little stickers. I put these on to actually remind me of respect, but I don't know why. So this is the Scrambler XE. This is a new XE model. And this, I mean, how good is it? It's Baja Orange. You've got your um, silver sort of stripe at the front, and you've got a metallic like, finish at the very front end of the tank. You'll notice any use scrambler aficionados amongst you notice they've changed the back light on the bike. So it used to be quite a bulbous light this one, they've now made it really quite slimline and LED obviously. Now, try and take a look to see that the suspension that was on the previous um, Scrambler XC was all in suspension. And the all-in suspension has obviously got a premium for the all-in suspension. But the Triumph engineers are assuring us that this Marzocchi suspension that's been fitted to the Triumph Scrambler XC has got every bit as much capability as the Olin, sh the Olin shocks that were on it. They're probably not as much bling when you look at them, um, you know, from from the outside looking in. But from our experience with the shocks that the guys are putting on the Tigers and all the various bikes, the Marzocchi suspension is where it's at. And Andy, one of our guys, has come from the, the, the mountain bike world. Marzocchi suspension is just the hottest thing ever at the minute with the mountain bikes. So. This bike is going to ride every bit as good as the old one with the old one shocks on it, but they've reduced the price of it and that's been done to bring it into a more accessible price point. They've also moved away the keyless go system that was on the bikes. And I think people... I think you miss that. You miss it. I know. I do. I'm an analogue chick, you know. I'm from the 1980s. I like things with keys and stuff, you know. Just me. Yeah. We like a key. But again, it's exactly the same as the X. The engine in the bike is pretty much the same engine, but remapped, and the rev limiter has been raised on it to give you more torque and more power for longer. Oh, nice. But there's a whole new uh, bunch of different colours that have come in the XE, and a bit of a refresh overall. You can get it in fat and black, strong grey, and you can get it in jet black as well. And we've got another bike in jet black, again, to bring in a legacy that looks like a different colour. Sure thing. When we get out of the way, I would encourage you all to come in and have a good look at that paintwork because even the black is a is a deep metallic. It's kind of pearlescent, but it's got so much depth to it. Now, scramblers, they've got a bit of a following. Oh. Everybody likes to make their bike their own. Yes. What kind of accessories can we get to these bikes? So th th this is probably one of the most accessorized bikes that we sell. One of the great, one of the great things about Triumph is, you know, we don't we, at Triumph here, especially at West Coast, we have uh, lots of success with just about every single model that's in the range. 
and these particular models, Warrival models and Speed Twins and all the classic, modern classics, are the models that people like to personalise, really personalise, but the Scrambler in particular is, is I mean, look at, the, look at the custom that we do. I know, I know. The sounds bike and yeah, which, it's endless what you can do. Which you will be able to see again soon, but that's a story for another day. So, can we get bags on these? So you get a bag for one side, Sean. Okay. Okay, so you've, cool. got your, you've got your high race silences on here, so, mm -hmm. so you get a bag for that side. There's tank bags, there's screens, there's, oh, there's, there's lots and lots and lots of stuff to put on. We've actually done, we've got a chrome scrambler um, custom bike behind you guys over here. This was based on the XC model. This bike had uh, a lot of work done to it, probably about 20 hours in the workshop to get the bike to the, to the way it's at. But that gives you an example of some of the customization that you can do on these scrambler models. And just a reminder folks, if you wanted to go for something that was a slightly different aesthetic, we can talk to you about that. If you were thinking about doing overland travel, taking it a little bit further, something tasty for the weekend that's still usable on the road, you know, we can talk to you about that as well. No problems so, at all. So the adventure bikes seem to be the bikes that, that, that are really, really popular just now. But the scrambler appeals to people who want a bike with adventure bike capability, yeah. but they don't want that adventure bike look. They want something a little bit more classic. And there we have it, some more information on the new Triumph range. Uh, all fantastic bikes, they look absolutely superb in the flesh. Can't wait to get my hands on uh, some of them for hopefully a test ride down the line when the weather gets a wee bit better. Uh, the new 400 and the 400X I'm particularly impressed about. Um, I think that the fuel economy in those machines is incredible, 80 miles per gallon. They'll look the part, I'm sure they'll sound the part with the right exhaust on it as well. Um, anyone on an A2 license will be able to ride them too, but fantastic commuting bike, really just a, you know, a great all-round machine, I guess, for anyone wanting to get into it. The new um, GT Pro that was released as well, uh, adventure bike, again, lots of really good spec on that machine. I'm sure it's very, very comfortable, but the actual red that they had in that bike in real life really made that pop out as well. And the Scrambler will who doesn't love a Triumph Scrambler? Uh, the new 1200 range as well. Um, I know they've changed some parts compared to the old model, but they've kept the pricing really sensible on it too, so I'm sure that'll be a big hit for them as well. So for anyone who's interested in looking at new Triumphs, um, definitely go to your local dealership. Uh, for us, as I say, it's West Coast Triumph, just up the road in Glasgow. Um, but yeah, go and have a look and see for yourself.